Hi everybody, welcome to this new video by Hexorcist. Today we are going to write an IDA Python script to export labels and comments from IDA to generate an x64 debug database. We can then load it inside of the debugger and enjoy analysis made by IDA and then also Lumina and Flurse signatures as well as our comments inside of the debugger. Here are the results to expect. On the left side you can see the debugger out of the box and on the right side after we imported the database created by our Python script. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to export a database from here, from the debugger itself, to see the file format. So what we can do is go somewhere here, for example, at the entry point. There's already a label. I'm just going to rename it to see format. Here I'm going to put a comment. This is a comment. This is another comment. And what we are going to do is, for example, here, this is another label. So now we do file, export database. This is a test. And now we exported the database, we can see the file format. So we open the file, this is a test.dd64, this is a database, and we can see that the file format is very easy, just a JSON. You can see that we have comments and labels. So basically in IDA Python, we are going to export all the labels and comments. We can see that they are classified in this way. We have module, which is the actual executable name. Address is an RVA. So we need to calculate an RVA from the virtual address. Manual is set to true. That just means that we set manually those comments and labels. And text is the actual comment. In this case, it's the same, except that the text is actually the label name. So now we have all information that we need. We're going to copy, for example, this. And we are going to move on to IDA Python and start scripting the exporter. God -like. So I opened x 64 notepyexe inside of IDA64, and we are going to write the exporter script. First thing I need to do is Lumina pool of data because I disabled it by default. And what we want is to list all the labels and all the comments. For labels, we can use names in IDA. If you go to View, Open Subview, Names, you have all this information here, name and address. And this is what we are going to get for labels and actually even more than just labels. So I'll press Shift 2 and I can start scripting. So first thing first, import IDA API, import IDA utils, and import JSON. We want to get the actual names. So for this, it's really easy. You can do for address name in IDA utils dot names, print hex address name, and that should be enough. So as you can see, we have all the address and the name in front of it. So now we have all the names and what we want is to get the comments. There is two kinds of comments. There is the normal comments and the repeatable comments. So for this, and there is no idautils.comments, so we have to do it manually. In order to do this, we are going to loop through all the functions of the applications. And for each functions, we are going to go through every lines and see if there is a comment. If so, we are going to print it for now. So to do this, you do for function in IDA utils dot functions. So this is to look through all the functions. Now what we are going to do is each address in each function. So IDA utils dot func item function. We are going to get the comments. For, for this, we use the function called idc.getComment. So if idc.getComment address is parameter 0, so 0 is to get the normal comments. And if you want to get repeatable comments, you have to use 1. So for this, is not none, because if there is no comments, you're going to have none. So for now, I'm just going to print it. Print 
Negdis. So now we are printing the normal comments. Now I want the repeatable ones as well. Just have to change one here. So now we are printing both normal comments and repeatable comments. So now we have both the names and the comments, and what we want to do is to create a JSON file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste as a comment this part, which I took from the exported database. So what we need is the module address, which is RVA manual. We can set it to true or false. It doesn't matter. And here is the text. So first of all, I'm going to do something like IDA export like this. And then I'm going to do IDA export labels. So I'm going to work on the labels for now. Something like this. And I'm going to remove this. I'm going to start adding things inside of it. So here I'm going to make a one liner. I don't need label anymore. And I'll close it. So basically something like this. So we need the module. So I'm going to save module here. Address is going to be address has to be hex so address minus image base, which we need to get as well. Here I'm going to put false, for example, or true, it doesn't matter. Text is actually name. Something like this. So first of all, I'm going to get the module name. Module equals IDA API dot get root file name. Very simple. And we need image base, which we can get from IDA API dot get image base, just like this. So we have the module, we have the address. So now what we are going to do is I am going to comment this. I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to do print either sport and everything is working fine. Now we are going to deal with the comments. For the comments, I'm going to copy this and comment this part. This I don't need here. Comments. Like this. First of all, change labels with comments. Kill. And the name here has to be changed with this. So this is getting the repeatable comments. Here, we are going to get actual normal comments. So now everything should be working. And export should have everything we need. Yeah, we have the comments and the labels. So now we only have one thing to do left is to actually save this to a file. So what I'm going to do first of all, 
the scripts support both 64-bit and also 32-bit. What we need to do is to get the architecture and to check whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. So for this, I'm going to do IDA arc equals IDA API dot get inf structure. There's one thing to keep in mind though, this is a 64-bit application. And if you do clear, and I'm gonna do something like this. Ida arc is 64 bit. So print just to make a point. True. Now, if you do the same thing with 32 bit, I'm gonna get true as well. However, if you do that on the 32 bit IDA, 64 bit will return false. So, in order to uh, make it properly, what we are going to do is to test for 64 bit first of all. So, what I'm going to do is if 64 bit I'm going to do something like database equal module, so the file name, plus extension dd64, print database. So this is just the file name of the database. And then we are going to do something like print exporting 64-bit. database. Then we are going to do elif 32 bit, change the extension to 32. And also here, 32 bit. Else, Print error and supported architecture, for example. So let's try this. So x64 notepad.dd64, everything works as it should be. Now the only thing left to do is to actually write the file. So for this, we are going to use with open database, so the actual database name that we create here or here. So right access as x64 debug on db actually for database json dot dump. So we are dumping the full IDA export. 64 dB and indentation of three, for example. And now you can do print export complete. Like this. At this point, everything is done. We did export database, including comments and labels. So now let's move on inside of the debugger and try to import this database. Holy shit. So I open x64 notepad.exe inside of the debugger. And what we are going to do now is import database. So file, import database, the one we just created. Open, and you can see that everything is renamed. Monster kill, 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 kill. Now everything makes much more sense. Here we have win main. You can see that everything has been renamed nicely inside of the debugger. So 
So this script works on both IDA32 and IDA64 bit. And you can import the database inside of X64 debug, 32 bit or 64 bit version. In this video, we saw how to export all the names and comments from IDA to the debugger. If you want to see any other kind of videos, please leave a comment below and let me know what you would like to see, especially regarding IDA Python scripting. Don't forget to subscribe and to press like, and I will see you in the next one.